hey you guys and welcome to my channel i hope that you guys have been following along with my latest uploads because they all have a running theme and you know i just want to bring it home in this video you guys because all too often i do feel like you know maybe there's not a sense of enough seriousness when it comes to this and you know this is proven by survivors that come to me and they're like you know i still miss them i still love them a part of me still want to be with them like a lot of toxic things when it comes to you know their toxic ex or you know narcissist or that narcissistic relationship um i was pondering on it today the best way to describe um what i'm trying to talk about today which is there's a lot at stake there really is a lot at stake, you guys. And if you don't be careful, the stake gets higher and higher. The stake as in what you end up losing when you decide to continue to indulge in these types of relationships, you guys. Um, there's a show that I've been watching on Netflix and I don't even watch TV like that. It's a little violent. I must agree but you know it's violent because of the time period that it takes place in and what went on back then basically um, I can't even tell you the name of it and I don't watched all these episodes <laughs> but it's basically all of these different kingdoms and at the throne of those kingdoms are like kings and queens basically and they're all trying to protect what they have you know at all costs and when I thought of that using that as an example I'm like you know what that's a really good way to look at what I'm trying to explain to you guys right now um, the people that you bring into your life the relationships um, the people that you let into your inner circle um, is so crucial you guys and I know that this experience with the narcissist has had to like make that very evident to you but you really need to let that sink into your head during the show um i was watching you know basically these kings and queens do all that they could to preserve what they already have and they thought about the next generation and the people in the community all of that you guys you know what god blesses us with is not only just for us it could be for your children for those of you who are parents out there for anyone that god wants you to wants to be blessed by your presence blessed by you know what they can inherit from you and all of these types of things but guess what in that show time and time again it was the people close enough close enough to them to be able to kiss them that could lead them you know to a horrible situation of, of having a judas or being betrayed now these kings and queens they were a lot more discerning about it and even with that it did not get rid of a hundred percent of it but it certainly probably minimized you know a lot of things that they could have gone through but when they went through things they needed people that they can trust people that they could rely on you know they needed confidants you know people to help them make decisions help them stay level-headed you know this is why you don't want to be attaching yourself to people who are emotionally immature and even with that you know there was a lot of cunning people that they would meet that would obviously present themselves to be one way when they were another and there were wars and and battles that they had to face but all of it was to preserve what they had to try to make a better life for the next generation okay and there's a big responsibility that comes with that when that happens someone's trying to call me it means that you can't just fly off your emotions everything that you do you have to think about how that's not only going to affect you, but affect those closest to you. And I'm talking especially to these single parents out there. 
you have to be so careful. I've heard horrific stories, you know, and I've been through my own shit, you know, letting the wrong people in my life at times, you know, and my kids got to pay a consequence to that when they run to run the fuck off or, you know, not be consistent in their life or not be the parent that they need, you know. Or they get to sit by and watch somebody else disrespect me or something. You know, you just, you have a whole kingdom. You're under your roof. That's a fucking kingdom. Okay? The shit that God blesses you with, you have to try to be careful. You really have to be so careful, as you can see. There are people that have no shame. They will pry or, you know, prey on single mothers you know they have no shame they don't care that's why you have to care and you have to have the appropriate boundaries too much is given much is required you know i've talked to single parents that's like you know what i'm not willing you know i'm not really even beat to have these serious relationships because i'm trying to protect my children and stuff and you can't live for your children but you have an obligation to them because we've seen it in the news and this isn't to invoke fear but children getting molested people stealing money all types of stuff that's coming out of your children's mouth you know getting with somebody that's less than that can't meet you financially that's coming out of your children's mouth god is blessing you as a single parent to take care of your children if you're going to come together with someone you know you they should benefit from that and you as well consistently you know you have to take this serious you guys it's certain that's why certain powerful people they won't even get married because they understand what's at stake and we're and yes that's talking about with money and everything but it could be even more than that i remember in the show one of the kingdoms they wanted to give the crown to a woman and they're like no we never let a woman lead and they was like well it's not against the law in the books but we think she would be best for it. But if something were to happen to her and she got married, her husband would run this. And we don't know what type of person that is. We can't take that risk. And then she vowed, as long as I am queen of this kingdom, I won't get married. That was a sacrifice that she was willing to make for the sake of her country. You know, and it's sacrifices that sometimes we have to make. And because there's a lot at stake. You let the wrong person into your life, it could wreak havoc. It could wreak hell. It could increase, you know, or just ruin, ruin situations. You just don't want that. They could steal your children's inheritances, all types of stuff. We have to be careful. And this is not even just romantic stuff. This is friends, even family, even your own family. Like we have to be so careful, you guys and understand what's at stake and i yeah we're talking about monetary things but you know what a lot of other things are at stake too your peace of mind your soul and your spirit your livelihood you know your longevity because stress kills okay look there's a lot at stake there's a lot at stake you guys and then it's not even how you're going to take it it's how your children are going to take being abused as well because it's not just you for you single parents especially your pets all of them you know you just you just gotta watch you gotta watch who you flock with you gotta be careful about who you're letting into your life survivors you really do because there are stakes involved there are stakes involved you guys and it's devastating it's devastating and i know i read my threads every day every day I read my threads and I see the shady mess that's happening to survivors and people who've been in long-term relationships and marriages and everything and then come to find out the person is just two-faced it disloyal not to be fucking trusted not to be fucking trusted there's too much at stake there's too much at stake we have to be careful survivors we have to be careful that means knowing our worth and setting our boundaries and not just flying off of our emotions. There's too much at stake, you guys. There's too much at stake. And then some of you have been through so much, you may not even feel like you could even endure going through another, 
narcissistic relationship cycle of abuse and all of the you know how it drains you like it's too much you guys don't even put yourself in a situation for a straw that broke the camel's back be careful be careful be careful you guys and understand the stakes that are involved and when you do there's no rushing you're not going to want to rush into a goddamn thing and even that won't guarantee shit because there are some true con artists out in this fucking world all they care about is themselves all they care about is themselves and they should never be put in a position of power so you can't make them your king you can't make them your queen they'll ruin the whole kingdom <coughs> they'll defile it okay And whatever stability they'll take from it, make it worse. So, you know, mind your kingdom. Mind your kingdom and be honorable about that. You know, sometimes the sacrifices that we have to make, it just is what it is. You know, my life has been a lot of burdens and and even at times inconveniences that I've had to carry is just the cards that God has dealt for me or you know my decisions that one thing led to another and here I am because he gives us free will too but some of it you know it was just predestined and I was chosen to have to experience this I was chosen to have to carry that I was chosen to have to be responsible for and I'm not playing. I'm not gonna drop the ball, because mm -mm. he gave me that for a reason, and I am okay with stepping into my fate and my destiny. I don't run from things like that, you know, just because it gets hot or heavy or, you know, there's a roadblock, block or a challenge. It is what it is. I'm doing the best that I can because I think about the next generation, you know. So until you know it's right, slow your roll. Don't be in such a need, in such a rush. You have a whole kingdom. God has blessed you with a whole kingdom. And you can't just allow anybody into it. You can't allow just anybody into it. Be careful. Dark energy they will use the people closest to you. And they just want you to be entangled. And they want to get entangled with you and make it harder for you to break away and get away. That's it. They want to get their claws inside of you. So be careful. Don't covet what other people have. Don't covet to have to be rushed and be married or settle down or nothing. There's a lot at stake. You want to do that carefully and divinely and as best as you can. And even then, there are no guarantees. It's, there's always some type of risk. People can flip. Okay, and although there are loyal people in the world, <laughs> it's not a whole bunch of yous. Okay, as a matter of fact, there's only one you, but when I say that, I just mean in we see how the world is, and it doesn't mean there aren't any good people in there. We have a whole community of good people right here, but we know that it's not an abundance of that. Okay, so we have to just be very, very careful, very careful very careful. You have a whole kingdom at stake. 